They came from different places around the world to stop the Russian terror. They left their safe and peaceful daily life behind in order to protect the innocent by force of weapons and courage. They can quit and leave at any moment, but most of them will fight till victory. They are doing the impossible on the battlefield, and they keep returning to the front line after being seriously wounded. They are the salt of the earth of our civilization. They are soldiers of the International Legion for the Defense of Ukraine. Alexander, call signs, mechanic, mech, a platoon commander, fighting against the Russian invaders since 2014, participated in the Maidan Revolution, the anti-terrorist operation, the joint forces operation, the defense operation against the full-scale Russian invasion, served in the following units, Golden Gate Police Special Forces Battalion, OUN Volunteer Battalion, 81st Air Assault Brigade of the Armed Forces of Ukraine, 2nd International Legion for the Defense of Ukraine within the Ground Forces of Ukraine, decorated with awards, badge of honor from the Ministry of Defense of Ukraine, Anti-Terrorist Operation Volunteer the short version of my call sign is Mech. The full version is Mechanic. It originated in 2014. During the Maidan Revolution, we built a mini ballista capable of shooting stones, and that's why I received this call sign. Alexander never tolerated violence against women and children. Being a man of action, he could not stay calm when seeing the injustice. First, I saw wounded men being evacuated after having been shot with rubber bullets. It was quite unpleasant, but these things happen. Maybe the police protected themselves. But when a lilac tear gas grenade, which is only supposed to be used during prison riots, landed near a 13-year-old boy, and it was pure luck that he wasn't hurt, then I got really pissed. I decided to quit my job and join the Maidan Revolution. After it ended, I joined the Golden Gate Battalion, and with this battalion I defended the Luhansk Airport in 2014. Mechanic has an impressive combat history. During the anti-terrorist operation and joint forces operation, he fought the Russian occupants in the hottest areas. Shastia, Sabrika, Rodakova, Lenina. In 2015, I was in Piski with the OUN Volunteer Battalion. Then in 2015 2016, I served in the 81st Air Assault Brigade, 5th Tactical Group. We spent around seven months in Optyke, Opitne, near the Donetsk Airport. He received immense experience as a soldier and as a commander. He managed to survive and to become stronger. In 2014, we had experienced everything. Back then, I had my first acquaintance with being shelled by mortars, artillery, grads. I got to know what cluster munitions are. We had them in Shastia. After all this, 2022 was somehow easier for me. When I was in Opitne in 2015, three tanks were shooting at us from a distance of 800 to 1200 meters, and a tank can hit a window from three kilometers. So it was a special kind of fun. Well, not exactly fun, but you know. He resembles an artist, a poet. He is very calm, but you can feel the strength inside him. Since 2022, the experience pays back. I understand what I can, what I know. Somehow I get used to all of this and just keep working. Just do my job as it goes. After the start of the full-scale Russian invasion, Alexander rejoined the army. His consciousness does not let him stand aside. When I announced in April that we were creating an international unit to fight on the front line in Luhansk region, 
He was one of the first to come forward and say, guys, do you really think you can go there without us, without me? If I decided to just stay at home, I would be of little use. Knowing that a lot of my friends and teammates died, I have to overcome myself and to go fight again and again and again. Mechanic's military service is a serious challenge for his family. His close people have no illusions about the related risk. My relatives and family are not happy about this. They realize that, however you put it, war is a big risk and they know what can happen at any moment. But still, they understand me, they support me. Alexander, with his fellow legionnaires, have recently went through a nightmare of heavy fighting in Novohrihorivka and Bakhmut. It was the same as everywhere on the front line. It's all very difficult, nothing comes easy. The Russian uses a lot of forbidden things, including those forbidden by the Geneva Conventions. For example, white phosphorus bombs, cluster munitions, and they use them a lot against the civilians. Because of his personality, Mechanic does not like to talk much about his heroic actions. He feels pain caused by the Russian war crimes against the Ukrainian civilians, which he witnessed himself. I'm not even talking about the looting, which is the smallest of their crimes. In the most part, they just killed the civilians, women and children. Also, something which cannot be understood is the rape. They even rape children, which is what destroys me the most from within. Alexander's empathy and his willingness to protect the innocent give him strength to be one of the best military professionals. Even in the hell of close quarters combat, Alexander and his fellow legionnaires try to respect the international conventions to save human lives. In 2022, my shortest distance to the enemy was half a meter or maybe a meter. I met the enemy soldier. I wanted to deal with it in a civilized manner to give him a chance to surrender. Unfortunately, he began turning his weapon in my direction, so I had to make my move and I had to do it faster than him. Mechanic's teammates can always rely on him and consider him to be a killing machine against the Russian invaders. When he hears gunshots, he gets crazy. He can, for example, jump onto the breastwork of an enemy trench and shoot the Russians from the top, just like that. For him it's normal, his eyes are burning. Yes, it was a similar situation. We entered their trench, there was a group of Russians gathered at the end of it and shooting at us from around the corner, which prevented us from moving forward. It was time to make a decision. The longer you stay in one place, the more of a target you become. So I had to climb over a trench and approach the enemy from the above and take some action from there. I had to deal with it. Mac is doing a good job. He is one of our best soldiers and one of our best junior commanders. Mechanic saw himself different types of enemies, and he knows the real value of the Russian regular troops. Kadilov's guys, it is some kind of a joke. TikTok warriors, as people call them. They get advertised a lot, but they're of little use in real life. Some of their teams can do the job, but on the whole, they're just a PR story. Regular Russian infantry is not adequately trained, so they work ineffectively. And generally speaking, Russian troops do not have the proper motivation, because they invaded a foreign country. If you're being sent into a battle without knowing the reasons to fight for, you cannot have the proper motivation. Mechanic was not impressed with combat effectiveness of the Wagner mercenaries. The Wagner fighters, they only have one motivation, to be released from prison. They come here to get a ticket out of the prison. They are being told to go ahead, and they go ahead. On the front line, they're just cannon fodder, meat thrown into the meat grinder.
The commander warns everyone not to underestimate the enemy. Бували деякі групи приїжджали там як спецназовці. In 2015, we met some of their special operations teams. They were equipped with Viklop and Vintoles rifles, Ford heavy machine guns. They were doing their job well. You cannot say that all enemy units are weak. Usually, the Russian invaders are not strong, but they often act cowardly. They don't care. They might booby trap the wounded, the dead, booby trap absolutely everything. It's very cowardly from their side. Mechanic is confident in his battle experience team, and he highly appreciates the motivation of his fellow legionnaires. If we talk about people like Georgians, Belarusians, and we even have some people from Russia fighting for Ukraine, they are motivated mostly by the fact that after we win the war in Ukraine, they can also win their struggle at home. That makes them highly motivated and easy to work with. It is the Legion's mission to stop the Russian terrorist state and to prevent their future war crimes in Ukraine and in the world. All our men understand, if we fail to stop the enemy here, they will continue pushing forward. It might be the same story as with the Third Reich. Together we try to deter the enemy here, on these lines, and our brothers help us to do this.